When contaminated cotton reaches the textile mill, mills must stop their operations and remove the contaminants immediately. The downtime needed to remove contaminants can be extremely costly for mills. Often, mills will demand a discount on the price they paid for the contaminated cotton. Mills can also decide to take their business to another supplier. Reports from textile manufacturers indicate that PET strap is a significant contamination source. PET strap contamination occurs from improper machine adjustment and calibration. Other contaminants can include plastic twine, module cover materials, plastic shopping bags, sewing twine, ditch liners, mulch, pieces of shop rag, paper towels, and apparel. We would like to remind producers to always check fields before harvest and remove any debris. Take care of the modules in the field and during transit to the gin so that they're not sitting on stocks or getting torn in module trucks. In addition, gins are reminded to follow recommended cutting procedures, perform recommended maintenance and adjustments on systems before beginning the ginning season, and monitor performance throughout the season to help ensure contamination-free lint. The contamination-free cotton section of our National Cotton Council website has a variety of information available, including the link to our contamination prevention video, U.S. cotton producers do not need to lose valuable customers over contamination.